We continue our road trip north and we make a stop at the world famous Bucky's. I've added a new tow vehicle and a new travel partner. We drove for six hours from Dallas all the way up to Amarillo. I picked up my RV out of storage at the 276 RV Center just east of Dallas. So here at 276 RV Service Center, uh, they did a lot of work. I'll show you here in a minute on the RV. Great place to store your RV and it's kind of cool. You just drop it off, tell them what you want done. So every time I do, I just tell them, hey, can you fix this, this, give it an oil change or whatever, and it gets done and it's Thomas. It's his place, pretty cool. All right, this is Thomas, the owner of 276 RV Center. Thank you. Uh, hey, how are you? He's, uh, you man, you've taken good care of me all, always. I appreciate it. Oh, thank you. And, uh, yeah, so I guess I'll bring this back to you in a couple weeks. And yes, sir. Have fun. All right, thanks, man. Thank you. So Thomas at 276 RV Center uh, really helped me out. Uh, dealt with my insurance to get the claim to fix everything. And actually, because the insurance came in a little low and he got them up to the right price to get everything done and took care of it. So all I had to pay was my deductible for having all this repaired and did a good job. And uh, you know, that's where I keep my RV when I'm not uh, cruising around is 276 RV Center. It's great, I just drop it off anytime I need to. He give him a list of things if anything needs to be done and he takes care of it and his prices are pretty reasonable. Storage is, is pretty reasonable and then so are his rates on working on the RV. So uh, check them out. And in the next series of videos, you might notice my hair is a little messed up. I don't really care if anybody knows. I had the hair transplant surgery back in uh, August. So uh, it's pretty fresh and that's why I'm wearing a hat and it sometimes looks goofy, but whatever. Give it a few months and it'll start coming in and it'll look normal. So it is what it is. I did it in Turkey actually while I was over there. Uh, it was pretty cheap. All right guys, the sun is not even up yet. It's still over an hour until sunrise, but getting the beast ready to go here. Uh, the reason we get up so early is because it's 110 degrees today. It's ridiculous. I don't want to be driving this thing in 110 degrees. Uh, a lot has changed since the last video. We'll catch you up on a lot of things. There's some new stuff on the back uh, and there's a new person inside. Uh, yeah, there's been a lot changed since I filmed one of these. It's been a while. Uh, so if you don't know, I kind of filmed for glamping doodles in the off season of sailing doodles, which was my sailing vlog. So for right now though, we got a long way to go. We got to be, I got to be in Burning Man. It starts in less than a week. So I've got a long way to drive, like 28 hours to get to Burning Man. And we have about four days to do it. So, uh, all right, let's get out of here. My plan was to get most of my driving done before noon is not to stress the vehicle with heat. My first stop has become a staple in the South, Bucky's. All right, so if you're driving through Texas, it's an obligatory stop, you gotta stop in Bucky's. There's a bunch of them around the DFW area and Houston, and they're putting them all over the place. There's some in Louisiana and Arkansas now, I believe, but they're going up everywhere, they're pretty cool. But, uh, all right, let me show you what I got here. My Ural motorcycle, it's the sidecar, the Russian made, it had a recall. And they're saying it was two to three months for the parts because of the whole Russian war thing. So I needed something to bring with me, so I picked up this used KLR 650. It's what they call an adventure motorcycle. So it's uh, capable of going off-road, and it can be on-road as well. And it's got you know, the hand guards and the saddlebags and, and uh, all that stuff. Highway lights. Um, so it's a pretty capable uh, motorcycle. Decided to uh, test it out and it leaves a little more space in the trailer now, actually. The plan for today is to drive, well, so I got five days to get to Reno and it's about 30 hours of travel time, 24 hours of driving. So uh, going to do about five hours a day. Say hello to Dakota. Hi. Oh, yeah, so. So this is a separate channel. So you got your, she's been uh, with me on Sailing Duels for a couple weeks now. Uh, this is Glamping Duels. Okay. It's a separate show. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, uh, so now she's with me traveling here. So now we're gonna go inside Bucky's. Ready? Yes. Let's do it. Morning like all, I just wanna be your Superman. Come fly with me, just take my hand. And now that we are cruising in. So Bucky's, I mean, like, it's crazy. You can get anything here. You need some deer corn, you can get it. You need a giant inflatable Bucky, great. You want a cooler, okay, cool. You need some new underwear, let's go for it. Beef jerky, all that stuff. It's a pretty amazing place. All right, so we're just gonna get some breakfast here and then uh, get on moving. You know, they really, their gas is actually pretty cheap here, comparatively speaking. It's cheaper than most other places, but they make it for it in volume, right? They have a hundred pumps here or more. But really, so they don't make much on their gas. It's because we just spent $30 on, you know, high markup items. So 
That's how they make their it's money. It's a tourist trap. Yeah, it is a tourist trap, but it's nice. All right, Dakota was telling me that this Bucky's has like real beavers in their pond. They do. All right, I guess over there, there could be like so a little probably hang out over there. Little beaver dam over there, maybe. I swear it's real. All right, I'm not, I'm not crazy. I, I'll believe you. <laughs> Back on the road, it was another four hours up to Amarillo. If you're passing through Amarillo, one of the more famous places to stop is the Big Texan Steakhouse. All right, so that is the uh, truck parking for the uh, Big Texan Steak Ranch. Have you heard about this place, Elise? Not until you told me today. That's where you, so you're gonna do the 72 ounce steak challenge? No. Absolutely. I tried it. I, I Maybe there's a clip of it popping here. <laughs> I failed miserably at it. I got like two thirds of the steak. I was miserable. But uh, so it's uh, if you drink, if you eat a 72 ounce steak plus the baked potato plus the shrimp plus the bread and the sides and all that in one hour, you get it for free. And you sit up on a little stage. But we're just going to have a burger. This place is packed. And I dream in the morning. Good time at the uh, Big Texan Steakhouse here. We're trying to get an RV spot at the Cadillac Ranch, but they would never answer, so we're gonna go down the street. Maybe we'll check out the Cadillac Ranch on our way out tomorrow. All right, well, I got up super early before 6 a.m. It's now, uh, well, with the time change, it's 7 a.m. now, it's really eight where we left. Left before six, it was still dark. Drove by like a, uh, I don't know, cattle place or something, like a cattle farm or something like that, because it just smelled awful, and then all these bugs. Look at this, it's like bug apocalypse. I was a little worried at one point that like, it might get too thick where I couldn't see. Uh, so anyway, now I am going to uh, clean it off. One thing, I'm, like, it's best if you stop, especially in a rig like this, stop at an actual truck stop, because uh, they get you high-speed diesel and all that, so it's a little nicer. It's sometimes more of a pain to pay, but anyway. So today we left uh, Amarillo this morning and gonna head towards New Mexico. I'm thinking Gallup, New Mexico may 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 I go all the way to Flagstaff. We'll see if I how I feel like driving today. But uh, yeah, moving right along. Thank you so much for watching. Our channel members got early access to the video. Just make sure you're subscribed, and right next to that subscribe button is the join button.